Okay, so what I want to have uh, Power Query do is I want it to do an index, sort of like this right here. But instead of doing one, two, three, four, five, I want it to do one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, etc. Uh, and you come up here and look, there, there's no way to do this with the index column drop down. So how I'm going to do this? So first, I'm going to what I want to do is I want to lock in the order the, that these are in. Okay, that's the first step. So I'm going to come over here to the queries. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose uh, duplicate. And then I'm going to do that again. So come up here, right click, duplicate. So now I'm going to have two duplicates here. For the first duplicate, I'm going to come up here to index column and I'm going to choose from one. That's going to give me a index that will show me the exact order that these are in. And that's important because as I went through this um, process, I, I noticed that Power Query will automatically sort of move some of these around. Um, so I want, to, I want it to be just exactly like this. So this one will lock in the exact order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the original again. And I'm going to come up here to the Home tab, Merge Queries. And I'm going to choose enough columns to where there is um, no doubt that uh, each row is going to be different. So with symbol and date, it is possible that we could have a row with the same symbol and the same date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose symbol, date, and the time over here. And it's uh, it, there won't be a row with all three of these the same. So I'm going to highlight those, and then I'm going to come down here and choose the one the duplicate I just did the index on. So it's going to be two here. And I'm going to choose the same columns that I chose up top. I'm going to click OK. That's going to create a column there. Then I'm going to open up, hit the button in the top right, uncheck everything, choose index, OK. Now I'm going to sort this. Uh, click on this little drop down here, ascending. Let's make sure that it's still in the right order. Okay, everything looks good. All right, so now that I've gotten that done, <clears throat> we're going to come over here to the second duplicate that we made. And now this one right here is what we're going to want to only have rows where we want the uh, the index to change. And if there's the row has been is not in this table, then it's not going to change. So I want it to change on every buy. So I'm going to come up here and choose buy only. That's going to sort that out. And then we're going to come up to um, add column index from one. And there we go. Okay, so it's got it's labeled the buys. So that's going to wrap up that one. I'm going to come back to the original. And I'm going to do the same process we just did a minute ago, except with that the second duplicate. So we'll come up here to home, merge queries. And again, I'm going to choose this top right, choose index. Now what we see is one null, two null, and it's very important that this row here have null in every other, I'm sorry, not row, column, have, have nulls in every other row. So we're looking here, five null, six null, seven null, eight null, nine null. So it looks good. And so now all we have to worry about is we just want to make sure that when we go to do this next step that it doesn't move around, doesn't change the, the rows around. So to make sure it doesn't do that, I'm going to come back in here, sort ascending. There you go. So it's going to lock those in. I'm going to come over here to the, uh, the second index here. I'm going to right click, fill, down. 
and it should have filled down. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good to go.